So, what do you do while you're waiting to try and get some parts? Come and you clean up things. This isn't very much of a job, but there's one on each side. Somebody had painted some paint over with a brush. It's a bit messy. So I'm going to see if I can tidy that up. It will probably look better by the time I'm done with it. And at the end of the day, that's really all I want to do. You can see all the tools and stuff are waiting inside for me to finish that throttle position sensor. But until I can do that, it's 10 degrees Celsius or 9 degrees actually outside today. So I'll carry on with little jobs like this. I can still spray paint in 9 degrees, only just. Um, at least it keeps me busy. So yeah, this is today's little job. One on each side. So right, we have primer, we have some BW Reflex Silver, it says it on there somewhere, there you go. Um, and I've sanded back, prepped, cleaned, and keyed all around with the scotch pad. So basically now the next job is just very light dusting of primer across here. And give it a minute to dry. And touch it over with the silver. It's far from a professional job. But to be honest, it's going to be better than it was when I started. So we'll leave that like that for the moment. And come back with the silver in a bit. And then obviously give it a chance to dry really well and give it some clear coat after that but what I'll do is I'll just take a bit of water paper I don't know very very fine splat the edges so that there's no edge right down there where the masking is although I've tried to sort of spray quite lightly there do a very light dusting um, and then a very gentle blend of clear over the top of that and that should make that a whole lot tidier than what it was when I started. So yeah, that's it for the moment. Maybe time for a coffee. I do drink a lot of coffee when I do these movies. Right, part two. <coughs> bit of shaking, bit of rattle and rolling. Where are we? BW Reflex Silver. That's what I used previously on the grill as well. It may not be the right color according to some, but for me, it's as close as I'm going to look for. I bought two cans of it. I'm not going to waste it, so I will use that just do the lightest of blow overs and leave it alone <laughs> i find it very difficult to leave stuff alone but just leave it alone to dry and then i shall carry on on the other side because the driver's side has the same very messy kind of a tidy up that wasn't really a tidy up so I guess the next job is going to the other side doing that quickly these are simple easy little jobs to do but they all make a difference to how tidy a vehicle either appears or or comes across as so looking at this color compared to what's on there I think I might be wrong because that seems to be more blue and that seems to be more white from a silver point of view but it could be the rags in the way that that is throwing my eye a little bit as well saying that it's down on the close of the door so mostly you won't see it 
and I think that that probably is is kind of its saving grace. These colors are close enough to each other that at this point it doesn't really make much of a difference. So yeah, I'll leave the Sahel alone, won't touch it for a while, at least try and leave it alone for an hour or so. Um, then I'll unmask and just leave it alone overnight so it can really dry out because it's about 10 degrees or 9 degrees outside. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit at the moment. But this really does need a bit of time to dry properly. So I will do my best to leave it alone, which I struggle with. Um, looking at the coating that I've put across there, I think that even that I shouldn't mess with. with the second coat, I think it's as good as it needs to be. So we leave it at that and carry on on the other side. I didn't film this side while I was doing it, it's on the slow motion, or fast motion, whatever that's called, time delay, um, but you can see it's not a bad finish I'd say, um, original colour, repainted, and obviously original again, it's going to be as good a match as I need it to be, and more importantly, I'm going to just leave it alone like I did on the other side as well. Just leave it to dry, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't mess with it. <laughs> um, next job will probably be a little bit more buffing on the paint. Is If you look carefully, there's lots of little marks. It literally just needs for me to go over the whole car, hand polishing, using my fingertips, I guess. Um, there's a couple of marks. Front fender up there as well, which I know about see the door. The door's actually good so a couple of little marks from car parks and stuff where people open doors inconsiderately. But, I mean once all those little marks have been cleaned up that one right at the back there just before the light I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. This needs a bit of a buff down here but I'll do all of that that's easy enough work. There's the slightest of dents down there which I can see if I look for it, most people don't even notice it, but I know it's there, so I'll sort that out. Um, and then things like the rubbers, you can see lots of green muck grown on there. Kind of the type of thing that happens when cars are looked after by people who use them as functional tools, maybe more so than anything else. I just like things to be a little bit tidier and cleaner. Same as the rear bumper that needs replacing, but I'll get to that. So yeah, another little job. For a cold day um, if anything I'd say that I'm pretty pleased with that and the same with the other side still waiting to find out more about getting the parts that go in underneath there the throttle control sensor but that's a small job it literally just needs reassembly as soon as I've got the part but for now that's a good finish as good as you're gonna get on any driveway I would suspect especially in winter that's all I need. So yeah, thanks for joining. Subscribe, like, do all the usual things. Um, and if this is of any value to you, then even better. So yeah, have a good day. Bye-bye.